So I'll go with the uh, spindle gouge. Just round this over into a sort of ball-like shape. It's just going to be acting as a weight on the end of the string. It's not going to be rolling anywhere, so it doesn't have to be a perfect sphere. Uh, an eyeball approximation is plenty good enough. That's kind of squarish looking ball, but uh, I can refine the shape a little bit. I've done my heavy roughing and uh, my heaviest cutting, so I don't really need the tail stock there anymore, so I'll be able to work out on the end of that. Okay, I find it fairly easy to get carried away in trying to get the perfect ball, and it's not really necessary for this particular project. That's plenty close enough, um, and I can make it even more circular by sanding it. This is 150 grit, and at 2500 RPM, 150 grit is fairly coarse sandpaper. And 240 grit to finish off. Uh, 
Okay, this is a toy. It's going to that ball is going to be banging against the lip of the cup. There's no point in spending a whole lot of time making it absolutely smooth because it's not going to stay that way for very long. Now I'm going to drill a hole through that ball just put it on to put a string through it I'll start by uh, drilling a 1 8 inch hole this is a 1 8 brad point bit I'm only going to go oh halfway or so through that with this bit then I'll switch to a smaller bit to drill the west of the way through so that there'll be a shoulder inside the hole so that if I have a string coming through it and I tie a knot in the end it won't be able to pull back I'm using a wood turner's wax stick as a finish on this. It's basically just a stick of uh, carnauba wax. Uh, this one was made by Liberon. Just hold it against the spinning workpiece. and then apply friction to melt the wax into the wood. And now it's ready to part off. So I have a 1 8 inch hole in the bottom of the ball and a 5 64 inch hole in the top of the ball. And uh, we're done with the ball. Set it aside.